everyone. I just thought I'd give you a quick update. So there is a uh, you know a lot of a lot of things that have happened in the last few weeks. You've noticed there's probably been no videos. And it's not because you know we quit YouTube or anything like that. I have just been busy. So I had to go to Master Leaders course, which is about a 2-week course and uh went there. <laughs> struggled, but pulled through, persevered and uh ended up doing really well and actually graduated with honors. Now, Master Leaders course is a two-week course that the Army makes us go to, and it is the next step for me if I was to want to make Master Sergeant. I would like to retire. I don't really want to stay any longer. However, sometimes I don't get a choice, so I'd rather go to that school, and if the Army denies my retirement packet, it gives me the ability to promote and not be left behind my peers. So that's why I'm still going to those things even though I intend to retire. So you'll notice that some other things have changed, like our flag is missing half of the flag almost. We had a really severe storm that came through um, about four days before I graduated from MLC. And anyways, the storm came through and Chrissy called me right afterwards, let me know they were all okay. Um, pretty, pretty rough winds and pretty, pretty good hail. So the Duramax, it got some hail damage to it. Um, you know, other than that, there's really nothing that happened on this half of the house or half of the the farm but on this half so you probably remember we used to have a trampoline there and we used to have a swing set here now the swing set was uh i don't know why it, it must have been some rough winds on it because it doesn't really have a lot of surface area to catch much wind but it clearly toppled it over and uh some of it might have been because these um, the swings and stuff that are on there, they're kind of like a parachute, I guess, at times. But we will uh, probably, I don't know if we'll be able to fix this one. We'll probably have to just rebuild it. It, uh, yeah. But the other thing that happened is when the trampoline was on its way out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I don't know if it'll show you or not. But right up there at the top, let that autofocus kick in. Right up there at the top, there is a solar panel that got lucky enough to catch the uh, trampoline as it came over the barn. And the trampoline ended up landing uh, literally 300 and some odd yards over here to the uh, northeast. Winds were coming pretty hard out of the southwest. Um, on all the news channels, they said it was 80 to 100 mile an hour winds. We don't exactly know what it was here. We are pretty fortunate though. There are uh, some neighbors that had way worse damage than we did. And at that point, I'm just going to count my blessings and move on. I mean, at the end of the day, most of the stuff is pretty easily replaced. You can tell, though, that was not like that before. At this point, not a whole lot I can do about it, except for, you know, to kind of love my new sunroof or additional sunlight, skylight, what are you going to call it? I did move all of the hay that was right here before we scraped the barn out. We moved it all over there. That way, if it does rain before we fix this, it won't get all over that hay. That hay is still good, and we don't want to get it wet, or you know, especially when it's stacked, we don't want to get it wet. Other than that, the barn received zero damage. Um, I'm pretty happy. So two minor things right there by the grain bin, and then, of course, right there where that skylight. You can see the 7,000 is out of the shop. We did fix everything, or not everything, but we fixed most things on it. Still a couple of things that just need dialed in. Overall, though, pretty good. And you can even see that, so it's been parked here for a couple of days now. There's a couple of little drips, which that probably is an actual leak that I need to, you know, track down. But look at the back. There's no leaks back there now. There is still quite a bit of, uh, well, you can see that the, the fluid and everything from what I leaked whenever I was changing those cylinders over. You'll see that, like I said, on, on a future video. But three points holding. Everything's doing well. Pretty happy with that. So that is one video that's going to be coming out. A couple other videos that are going to be coming out. Like I said, Master Leaders course is a very demanding course um, academically. It's uh, long nights with lots of studying. Um, just to kind of break it down for you, essentially every night you are basically had somewhere around 50 to 75 pages of reading that needed to be done, plus papers that had to be written that night. And you still had to take your notes that you're going to need for your test the next day. Um, so there's just, there's a lot going on academically, but there is a lot of knowledge gained from it. And at that point, you know, it, it's useful 
to that venue or to that avenue. Um, not avenue. My brain's still a little mushy from it. <laughs> to, to that aspect. The last bit of damage that kind of happened over here was, uh, so that door right there actually opens inward. Well, apparently, whether it wasn't completely latched or it actually just got blown open, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Um, that door got opened <coughs> from the wind, blew the door that should be right here off. You can see it right here on the ground. And then should be a door somewhere right here. Well, it's gone. That door got blown over there. Thankfully, it got caught on the fence and didn't go too far because that thing is a big sail. And that could have done a lot of damage to somebody else's place. Um, over at the, the other farm where my mom's at, the well, I'll just take you over and show you. Now this old 6.5, you guys haven't seen much on the channel, but I really like this thing. It is far from being a powerhouse, but we have replaced the turbo on it with a HX35 out of a Cummins. And it actually, it's pretty stout, but pretty sweet truck. I really like it. Interior is actually in really good shape. I bought this thing back in November and uh, it's five speed manual. We, uh, we put a different transmission in it because the previous one, the synchronizers were all bad. It has four wheel drive. We fixed a bunch of things on this thing. I, uh, I bought this truck for 2,300 bucks and I really do, I love this truck. I uh, can't say enough good things about it really. I actually drove it all the way to uh, Fort Campbell for MLC and back. The kids and I put a uh, sliding glass, sliding back glass in there. We bought one from another truck for a hundred dollars and threw that one in and I still have my other back window I just don't know what to do with it because nobody seems to need it so driving in over here at my mom's place it uh pretty nice a little bit of damage with a tree and uh unfortunately she had a lot more structure damage than I did you can see right back there that lean to whoops that lean to back there really got That lean-to back there got beat up pretty good. It's it's done. Um, that's not the only lean-to she lost, though. This lean-to over here is gone as well. She got some hail damage on the side of her house, too. kind of out here how it peeled the roof up on that one all the way down took the lean to that was here it's gone well some of it's still right there I guess this is what it looks on the inside <laughs> it's uh, like it says it's got a sunroof unfortunately that's a bad thing because that means that this probably got wet I forgot about that I bet it does have an air Let's see if that fixes it Oh, well, air went away until it rains again anyway. So not a big deal that the trailer gets rained on, obviously. Um, the electrical stuff, probably not so good for it. So this is where I'm going to leave you off for the night. And in the magic of editing, in five seconds, you're going to see the flag that Iagzaga sent us. Look at that. 12 by 18, 100% made in the USA. I'm just in awe. So if you didn't know, Agzaga now sells flags and they have an amazing assortment. So this is a 12 foot by 18 foot flag. So it's a massive flag and I get it. It's not a very common size that most folks are going to buy. But they have three by fives, four by sixes. They have all the common sizes as well, but they can get you massive flags like this. So don't be afraid to show off your patriotism.